guys, welcome back to Wholeheartedly Natural. My name is Celeste. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. And today I wanted to go ahead and show you an easy, quick recipe um, on our cheddar broccoli soup, which I enjoy. So I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys this recipe. And um, if you can please like, comment, and subscribe. Let, you, let me know what you think of this recipe. Let's go ahead and go over the ingredients today. So today we have some a small diced onion. I have some garlic here. I have some celery and some carrots. We have some potatoes. Um, you can certainly, um, here we have a variety of different vegan cheeses. So I have a mature cheddar and I have the regular vegan cheddar as well. Um, but you can certainly use nutritional yeast if you prefer that. That definitely gives you a cheesier flavor um, if you wanted to use that. I have some vegan cream cheese. That's going to make it nice and creamy since we're not having any milk in here. Um, I have some cashew cheese. Again, that is just making it creamy. Now, as far as the cashew cheese here, what I did was I put it in a pot um, with some cashews that I had boiling. Um, turned off the heat, let it sit for 15 minutes, and you can certainly drain it, um, blend it with a little bit of hot water um, with some seasonings, whatever you prefer. I will show you a video on that one day. Um, and then we also have some broccoli that I chopped here. Now, you can certainly use frozen broccoli. Uh, today, I used fresh broccoli, which you can see I just did a rough chop on them. Some of them are big pieces some of them are little but that's just how I like my soup if you wanted to blend it or um, make them smaller you could certainly do that I have some veggie broth here I have some paprika some onion powder garlic powder some pepper and some Himalayan salt just add a little bit of flavor here um, and we also have some olive oil to get things going this is just going to go ahead and get our onions cooking and translucent now, just to go over the cheeses here, I have Violife um, as the cheese, one of my favorite vegan cheeses. Um, and this is what the mature cheddar cheese slices look like as well. Um, as far as cream cheese goes, this is Kite Hill here. So you can use those. Um, and let's go ahead and get started. I have some olive oil that I went ahead and added. Now this is about, I'm eyeballing it here, so this is about two tablespoons of olive oil give or take. So I went ahead and added that in. Now I'm going to go ahead and add in my onions here. As you can see, got my onions here. I'm just going to go ahead and add those in. And what we're also going to do is we're going to add a little bit of Himalayan salt. Now, if you don't like Himalayan salt, that's fine. It's just a healthier option for salt. Um, and so you just want to crank just a couple of cranks just to get those onions going. Give it a little quick stir here. It's just going to get those onions going. And you want to cook this on medium, low heat. You don't need it too high because we don't want to burn the onions. We just want to get them translucent. And I will go ahead and add in the garlic in just a bit. And this is a very delicious recipe. It's perfect in the winter time. Um, you know, you can certainly serve this up with some croutons or some maybe really crusty bread. That would be delicious with it. So now what we're going to add next is our onions look like they're pretty much almost there. We're going to go ahead and add in our garlic. And like I said, the onions don't need to cook too long. So the garlic, I'm just going to go ahead and add that in, give it a nice little stir. And we are just waiting for the onions to have a fragrance. They don't need to cook too long. We just need it to start smelling like garlic in the house. We just wait for that to get going here. All right. And give it another stir. And as you can see, we've got some nice little brown bits coming in. 
That is absolutely fine. That's going to give us flavor. So next, we're going to go ahead and add in our celery and our carrots. Now you can certainly make these smaller. I just happen to like my soup a little bit chunky, so that's what I prefer. I did use baby carrots, and I just diced them, but you can certainly use whole carrots, or you can use shredded carrots, whatever you prefer, or whatever's available to you in your local grocery store. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and let this cook down a bit. What we're looking for is our um, celery to be a little bit softened and our carrots as well. Um, you can certainly omit the celery if you do not like celery, but I like to add that in my soups. So let's go ahead and give this a few minutes and I will show you what it looks like when we're there. Okay, so I got my vegetables cooked down a bit. I'm going to go ahead and add in our potatoes that I have washed and diced. Go ahead and we're going to add that in. Just give it a nice stir just to get everything going. And now what we're going to do is add in two cups of veggie broth. And we're just going to go ahead and add that in. And we're going to bring it to a boil on medium high heat. So we're going to turn up that heat a bit. All right. And what we're going to do is let this come up to a boil. I am looking for the vegetables to get nice and tender for the potatoes to get softened. Um, and then what we're going to do is add in some more seasoning. We will go ahead and finish this off with our broccoli and our cheddar. And I'll show you what it looks like when we're on the next step. Hey guys, so I got our potatoes nice and tender, carrots nice and tender. What I'm doing now is I am using my little bullet blender here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and blend this with a little bit of stock. This part here in my pot, I'm going to keep half of it in here. Um, because, like I said, I like my soup chunky. So I'm going to leave that how it is. And then we're going to blend this and add it into our soup. And I'll show you what it looks like when we're there. Alright guys, so we're back. So I got our pureed vegetables here that I'm going to go ahead and add into the soup. Um, if by any chance when you uh, take half of these vegetables and you need more stock, you can go ahead and add some in so that way it can become um, like this paste that I made here. And we're going to go ahead and add that in our soup. And then what we're going to add next is we want to go ahead and make it creamy. So again, I got my cashew cheese that I made here ahead of time. And like I said, there will be a video in the future for it on how to make it. We're going to go ahead and add that and make sure we get every little bit. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and give that a nice little stir. Okay, and this is a great substitute. Like if you were making mac and cheese or something like that, you could certainly use the cashews. Uh, because it definitely makes the recipe very rich and creamy. So that's something you could definitely use as a substitute for anything that you need for, with for cheese. So next we're going to go ahead and add in our vegan cream cheese as well. And again, that's going to be another addition to making this soup creamy. And as you can see... By me just adding in that cashew cheese, you could definitely see a difference, right? It definitely looks more creamy. And then we're going to go ahead and, like I said, and we added in our cream cheese. So I'm getting that combined as well, making sure there's no lumps in there. And at this point, you could turn it down to medium-low heat. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to add in your spices. So I got my garlic powder here that I'm just going to add a bit in. We're going to go ahead and add in a little bit of onion powder. And the ingredients and the measurements to the ingredients will be in the description below, so look out for that. We're going to add in a few dashes of some paprika. It's just going to give it a little bit of color. 
We're going to go ahead and add in our cracked pepper, fresh cracked pepper. So you can certainly use whatever pepper you have on hand. And then we're also going to go ahead and add a little bit more uh, Himalayan salt just to season for taste. Okay, so then we're going to give that a nice little stir here. And as you can see, it looks very creamy. Now you may have a couple of little lumps of the cream cheese, but as I'm stirring it, it will simmer down and will break that up. So next, we're going to go ahead and add in our vegan cheese. And these are the pieces of the sharp mature cheddar. So we're going to add that in and give it a little nice stir, making sure everything's nice and stirred together, and it's okay if the cheese isn't completely melted because, again, this is going to cook down some more. All right, and what we're going to do next is we're going to go ahead and add in our broccoli. We got my broccoli here, add that in. Give that a nice little stir. And as you can see, my soup is starting to get pretty thick. So I'm going to go ahead and add in some more veggie broth. You can use whatever veggie broth you have on hand. So I'm going to let this cook down a little bit more here. Making sure those cream cheese lumps are out. I'm going to go ahead and whisk that. And then I will show you what it looks like when this is done. All right, guys, so I got my soup here. Um, so right now what I'm doing is just whisking just to make sure I got the cream cheese chunks taken care of because there may be some cream cheese chunks. So I just want to make sure I got the bottom of the pan just to make sure that is all incorporated here. At this point, you could go ahead and taste your soup and add more seasoning accordingly to your taste buds whatever you like if you think it's need more salt go ahead and add that in more pepper whatever you need if you want to add some chili flakes to make it spicy go ahead and add that in it's your choice um, but we are going to go ahead and let this simmer for a few more minutes here and then we will serve but doesn't this look lovely guys it looks beautiful and it's very creamy I tasted it, it tastes delicious. So go ahead and let this simmer on medium low heat for about 10 to 15 minutes or less, um, depending on how soft you want your broccoli and we will serve it. Okay, so our soup is finally done and it looks magnificent. Look at that, all the creaminess, the carrots cooked down, the celery. So now I'm just gonna add just to top it off, you don't have to. Your preference is a little bit of parsley. Go add a little bit of pizzazz to it. And I like to add a few croutons, which certainly optional, but that's how I like my soup. Or you can do crusted bread on the side. That's absolutely fine. So without ado, let's go ahead and try this out here. I'm going to definitely get a crouton here. A little crispiness. It is delicious. It's creamy. You can definitely taste the garlic in this soup. I can taste the cheese. The potatoes are definitely cooked down where they're nice and light and they break in your mouth here. But definitely go ahead and give this a try, guys. Let me know what you think. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later.